in his rookie season. Jaron Jackson, the youngest player in the league. He seemed NBA ready. And already he impacts the game on both ends of the floor. A, a ton of upside with this young man. He's already helping the Grizz win games. Lillard attacking. Anthony, no one around. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Yeah, the vision's one thing, but the timing also helps. Lillard prepared to get the ball to his teammate. Grant. It's not going to go for him. Now Portland takes it the other way. Trailblazers moving the ball around. Down low. Here's Anthony. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Kicks it out to Lillard. And another three for Portland. Well, you might have thought he was rushing. I think he knew exactly what the time was on the clock. Lillard keeping his composure. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. And purely from a physical standpoint, John Morant has it all. The height, the long arms, the frame to put on more weight. And few players are more explosive athletically. And with Morant, you not only get the physical attributes, Greg, you get the mental toughness and awareness. Yeah. This kid loves to compete. The bigger the game, the bigger he plays. Now, I think we're looking at a potential all-NBA performer when it's all said and done. Here's Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. And have to commend the unselfish attitude like how Morant just recognized the open man in the ball is right there. Green, green, green. Pass to Whiteside. It's stolen by Valanciunas. Get the perimeter. Outside Jackson. There's the triple. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. And it's Lillard missing. Yeah, better than giving up the layup. You want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Down to five on the shot clock. Got a piece of it. And Portland turns it over again. Here's Jones. 132 left in the first quarter. Out left to the wing. Pass to Valanciunas. Releases. And the jumper from down low is good. Valanciunas has got his second basket of the night. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. So timeout called here, the first for Portland. And coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Now McCollum, he's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Collins. He's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. There's just so much activity from John Collins as a stretch five at times, hard to track around the floor. Here are three for seven footer Zach Collins showing some real potential as a three and D rim protector. The interesting thing about last year and Zach Collins was how he played in the playoffs, stepping up, playing with tremendous confidence playing with physicality showed a lot of signs of why it is Portland moved up a couple years ago in the draft to get Zach Collins in uniform. Puts it up from seven. Nurkic with 